Welcome to Tesla Vision. Let's talk about the most recent Tesla news and updates on the most anticipated Tesla semi truck. Recently, at the Fremont factory, the Tesla semi was spotted at the test track. Another updated version of the Tesla Semi was seen with one of the Class A trucks recently in Tahoe on their way back to the Bay Area. The Tesla Semi, which was at the Fremont factory, was seen with the all-electric Class A truck and subsequently an equipped Model Y with an apparent camera rig. There are videos of the vehicle from which it is evident that the Semi certainly features Tesla's trademark speed. Last Friday, a drone operator conducted a factory flyover, and the videos were shared on YouTube by Tesla enthusiasts. It was seen that the Tesla Semi featured an upgraded design of the windows and its door handles. The paintwork of the vehicle also reflects the same white paint scheme as the other updated Semi prototypes seen in recent months. The video of the Class A truck was made at the time of its running at the Fremont factory's test track while the Model Y equipped with a camera rig was being followed by a recently upgraded Tesla Semi. Perhaps Tesla is preparing for the start of the vehicle deliveries to its customers. The Semi was initially unveiled in late 2017, and after that, only two prototypes of the vehicle had been spotted around the United States. The updated versions of the Class A truck with new windows, door handles, rear equipment and taillights were spotted in the last month in several different states across the US. The Class A trucks have been built by Tesla for road testing, cold weather testing and durability testing. It also became evident that Tesla had been preparing for the semi-release in between May and July of 2021. Tesla is expected to produce approximately 100 semis per week by the end of 2021 which means that there will have been built approximately 2,500 Tesla semis by the end of this year. The other sightings of updated Tesla semis made it possible to highlight a number of impressive characteristics. One of the vehicles had something attached to its rear, something that was not a common feature in all the sighted Tesla semis. We have already mentioned the fact that Tesla has made four semi-vehicles to make it possible to test them in various conditions, including for their performance and durability in cold weather conditions. Earlier this month, a white Tesla semi was seen in Sacramento. The vehicle had updated door handles, windows and taillights. It also boasted a large box installed and attached to a number of data cables. It gave off the appearance of a completely finished and ready-for-use vehicle, which made it possible to actually believe that Tesla semi production would start sooner than expected. Another Tesla semi was sighted in Chicago, Illinois. The vehicle had the same color and silver wheels. The only difference was with the type of tires used. This vehicle did not feature any equipment as the one attached to the Tesla Semi sighted in Sacramento. A Tesla Semi has also been seen in Tahoe. It had almost the same features and the wheels of the vehicle were painted. The vehicle's rear had a hefty box attached to a side of the truck, which hasn't been seen in the first two vehicles. The vehicle appeared to have been freshly built. This vehicle is believed to be the third prototype that has been released. Some sources hinted that Tesla had been working to start the production of the released vehicles by May of 2021. However, the Tesla semi-production will be limited this year. The pilot production will start in July, with Tesla planning to eventually manufacture 100 semi-units per week. With the advancement in technology, it will be possible to make the battery-powered heavy trucks at a much lower cost as compared to the initial manufacturing costs. At least, that is what has been suggested by two studies conducted by the Stockholm Environment Institute and the Transport Environment Agency. With the new advances in technology, heavy trucks like Tesla Semi will be cheaper to own and maintain in working conditions compared with those running on petrol or diesel. It is believed that the future of the heavy trucking industry will be electric. By the middle of the decade, electric vehicles are expected to actually reach the cost parity with their diesel counterparts. However, it doesn't actually mean that 100% of the heavy trucks will have been replaced with EVs. Just as is the case with all electric vehicles, if massive battery-powered vehicles could charge as quickly as standard passenger ones, the electrification of the heavy trucks would be possible on a much wider scale. Moreover, 
there would have been a dramatic increase in the battery-powered long haulers range with the expansion of the charging infrastructure available for their usage. Thus, vehicles like Volvo VNR Electric Class A truck boasting 150 miles of operating range will be utilized, potentially paving the way for EV long-haul segment's prosperity. According to a senior researcher of the Stockholm Environment Institute, it is the upcoming developments in the battery technology that will make electric trucks effectively compete from a purely economic point of view against your standard gas or diesel-powered vehicle. Tiziana Frondia, freight director at the Transport Environment Agency, noted that the time is now to push electric trucks into the market as even existing vehicles available today could already cover most urban and regional deliveries. Longer routes, on the other hand, could be handled by upcoming trucks such as the Tesla Semi, which is expected to have a range of over 500 miles per single charge. For Frondia, the future of trucking is electric and it's now up to the powers that be to ensure that the shift to sustainable trucking is expedited. The future of trucking is electric. Most urban and regional deliveries can already be covered by electric trucks today and long-haul electric trucks are only a few years behind. The environmental case is clear and now so is the cost argument. The European Union should therefore speed up the transition towards electrification by setting binding targets for truck charging stations in the upcoming review of the infrastructure law. The evidence is stacking up. If electric trucking seemed like a pipe dream just a few years ago, it definitely isn't anymore. We've shown that it is possible. Will the EU make it a reality? The Transport Environment Agency freight director said. Just a few years ago, electric trucking was a dream, yet at the moment it can be turned into a reality, as the possibility for shifting to electrification has been shown in passenger vehicles. The battery constraints that delayed the Tesla semi-deliveries will soon come to an end. At the first quarter 2021 earnings call, Tesla announced some positive news for pre-order deliveries of the all-electric commercial truck, which will begin this year. Tesla noted that the problem is not with the demand, yet with the obstacles in battery cell supply. The Tesla Semi is large and requires a significant number of battery cells for its increased range and excessive power output. It could have been produced earlier, which might have caused a delay in the Model 3 and Model Y production. With this, Tesla created a team of technicians for the Tesla Semi in different locations. Elon Musk mentioned during the third quarter 2020 earnings call that the company needed to deal with the battery constraints before rolling out the production of the electric truck. The only constraint of the Semi's progress is the battery supply. However, PepsiCo announced earlier that it would receive 15 Tesla Semis. The delivery is expected to take place by the end of 2021. PepsiCo will be the first company to receive all electric 18 wheelers. Along with this, Tesla will be expanding the production plant in Shanghai, China. Make sure to check out one of the videos shown on your screen right now. We post videos daily, so feel free to subscribe and stay up to date on all most recent news and updates.